Where's the nearest police station? Opposite the church, two minutes walk. Suppose I walk there now. What would you tell them? Everything. Everything? All about Mr. Adams and Mr. Wilson? I should simply tell them that you're trying to blackmail me into... Into? Murdering your wife. I almost wish you would. When she heard that, we'd have the biggest laugh of our lives. Aren't you forgetting something? Am I? You've told me quite a lot tonight. What of it? Suppose I tell them how you followed her to that studio in Chelsea and watched them cooking spaghetti and all that rubbish. Wouldn't that ring a bell? Oh, it certainly would. They'd assume you followed her there yourself. Me? Why should I? Why should you steal her handbag? Why should you write her all those blackmail notes? Can you prove you didn't? You certainly can't prove I did. It'll be a straight case of your word against mine. That'd puzzle them, wouldn't it? What could you say? I should simply say that you came here tonight half drunk and uh, tried to borrow money on the strength that we were at college together. When I refused, you mentioned something about a letter belonging to my wife. As far as I could make out, you're trying to sell it to me. I gave you what money I had and you gave me the letter. It has your fingerprints on it, remember? Then you said if I went to the police, you'd tell some crazy story about my wanting you to murder my wife. But before you go any further, old boy, do consider the inconvenience. You see, I'm quite well known, and there'd be pictures of you as well. And sooner or later, there'd be a deputation of landladies and lodgers who would step forward to testify to your character. And someone is almost certain to have seen you with Miss Wallace. You were careful not to be seen around with her, I noticed. You usually met in out-of-the-way places where you wouldn't be recognized. Like the little tea shop in Pimlico. That was her idea, not mine. Yes, it was a bit crummy, wasn't it? Hardly the place to take Mrs. Van Dorn. By the way, does Mrs. Van Dorn know about Mr. Adams and Mr. Wilson and Miss Wallace? You were planning to marry Mrs. Van Dorn, weren't you? Smart, aren't you? No, not really. I've just had time to think things out, put myself in your position. That's why I know you're going to agree. What makes you think I'll agree? For the same reason that a donkey with a stick behind him and a carrot in front always goes forwards and not backwards. <laughs> 